All right. Hello, internet. Um, so Dragon Age Origins. I did end up playing past where I was at because my streaming stuff. I had, a, I had an issue streaming again, and like it just stopped recording. And I was like, dude, I just want to finish this game. <laughs> Cause I wanna. Yeah, I'm behind schedule, so I'm trying to get through it. But um. I did play farther and I haven't finished the game yet, so I'm just gonna pick up here and just go. So, yeah. Hopefully, I don't have any issues. Um. I have to work another day this week at work after today, so that's like six days in a row. Six hours. I mean, it, it was supposed to be. It's whatever. It's, it's, anyway. Um. Um, and we're gonna go after that. Get my party together. We got our bro Alistair. Yes. I will say, from what I played, that's like ahead of this. There's some really good stuff. Um, yes. I'm not gonna say anything or reference anything just because it's like. You know, I already lost my initial reaction <laughs> since I didn't play. But yeah, man. Dragon Age Origins brings the heat. I will say that. I, w I would say that like the difficulty gets a bit like ridiculous though, as far as like at the end here, like it just gets it gets rough, <laughs> and it's just like, dude, you know, like just. I'm sorry, what? Like, just... Kind of gets unevenly difficulty spiked. Um... Though I guess, in thinking about it, there are some enemies that could go and hunt down and try to fight and kill and get XP and stuff, but it's like, dude, it's not normal. <laughs> and I was just getting... Like, this one section I went through was just, like, really... Just... Yeah. Kind of just... good stuff. AI. I guess I can like reload the save or whatever. Generous is always worth Alright, cool. So I got level with Alistair, which happened last time. Yeah, the very brief stream I had last time was up on uh I wouldn't say it's up on Twitch, but it's not gonna be there for very long. Because <laughs> it's yeah, it's awesome. Together. I was like, why is it asking me again? But that's because I went, okay. Alright, well, so far so good. I'm running this through my Elgato, but I'm not streaming it through my Elgato, so my... I might have a bit of a delay on my, like, input when, like, I'm actually playing. But since it's, like, streaming directly from the Xbox, you know, there shouldn't be any delay on that end. I just wanted to, like, record if it, like, stops again, so... That way I can like take a screenshot of it because I've I've got a screenshot of like my PlayStation when it does it, but it it doesn't do anything differently than saying like your broadcast has stopped. But it's like I don't it like does it anyway. It's a whole thing. All right, I'm gonna mute myself. Let's get through this. I've got what three and a half hours to play, and then I gotta get ready for work. So let's see if I can get far here, and then hopefully when I get back from work, I can pick this up or just pick it up tomorrow. We'll see.
I understand you've acquired all the allies you could. That's good. We can call the Landsmeet if you are ready. I would prefer not giving Loghain time to consider, but it is up to you. I do not wish to go to Denerim unless you are with me. Excellent. I shall make the arrangements. Let us be off to Denerim, and may the Maker watch over us. Denerim is the heart and soul of Ferelden. It was the city of King Kalanhad, the birthplace of Andraste. As stubborn as a Mabari, and as good to have on your side. If we defeat Loghain here, the rest of the nation will follow us. By calling the Landsmeet, I've struck the first blow. The advantage for the moment is ours. He will have little choice but to show himself, to oppose us directly. He will strike back at us. The only question that remains is how soon. Loghain, this is an honor that the Regent would find time to greet me personally. How could I not welcome a man so important as to call every lord in Ferelden away from his estates while a blight claws at our land? The blight is why I'm here. With Caelan dead, Ferelden must have a king to lead it against the Darkspawn. Ferelden has a strong leader. It's queen. And I lead her armies. And who is this, Eamon? Some new stray you picked up on the road? And here I thought it was only royal bastards you played the nursemaid to. Well, you're admitting the royal part. That's a start. You have my sympathies on what happened to your order. It is unfortunate that they chose to turn against Ferelden. You should curb your tongue. This is my city and no safe place to speak treason for anyone. There is talk that your illness left you feeble, Eamon. Some worry that you may no longer be fit to advise Ferelden. Illness? Why not call your poison by its true name? Not everyone at the Landsmeet will cast aside their loyalties as easily as you and these sycophants. How long you've been gone from court, Eamon? Don't you recognize Rendon Howe, Arl of Amaranthine, and Terran of High Ever? And current Arl of Denerim, after Urien's unfortunate fate at Ostagar. Truly, it is an embarrassment of riches. Don't interrupt, Churl. Your betters are talking. Enough, Carthrian. This is not the time or place. I had hoped to talk you down from this rash course, Eamon. Our people are frightened. Our king is dead. Our land is under siege. We must be united now if we are to endure this crisis. Your own sister, Queen Rowan, fought tirelessly to see Ferelden restored. Would you see her work destroyed? You divide our nation and weaken our efforts against the Blight, with your selfish ambitions to the throne. Kaelin depended on the Grey Warden's prowess against the Darkspawn, and look how well that ended. Let us speak of reality rather than tall tales. Stories will not save us. I cannot forgive what you've done, Loghain. Perhaps the Maker can, but not I. Our people deserve a King of the Theron bloodline. Alistair will be the one to lead us to victory in this blight. Oh, is that all I have to do? No pressure. The Emperor of Orlais also thought I could not bring him down. Expect no more mercy than I showed him. There is nothing I would not do for my homeland.
Well, that was bracing. I didn't expect Loghain to show himself quite so soon. Calling the Landsmeet is only the start. Now we must ensure that every noble there sees Loghain's duplicity. We have no small task ahead of us. We need eyes and ears in the city. Loghain has been here for months. The roots of all his schemes must begin here. The sooner we find them, the better we can turn them to our advantage. Go have a look around, and see what you can turn up. Better yet, find the nobles who have arrived for the Landsmeet. Test the waters. See how many will support us. When you're ready to talk strategy, come upstairs to my sitting room. We can lay out our plans for the lands meet then. Everything in here appears to be breakable. It seems most impractical. It doesn't have better things to do. On then. Everything in here appears to be breakable. It seems most impractical. Its journeys are fascinating. I had thought its chances slim. But perhaps I'm even wrong on that point. Does it wish me to leave? I can, though I see no reason to go. No doubt. Without me, it would have to carry its inventory on its own. Perhaps we should continue. Its chances of success are small enough without further dawdling. This is a nice estate, isn't it? What's on your mind? I try not to dwell too much on the mistakes of my past, of which there are many. I would go quite mad if I did that. But I do have one regret, the greatest misstep of my life, made even more grave because it had dire consequences for someone else. Years ago, I was assigned as mentor to a lad, Anaren. He was my first apprentice. Anaren was an elf, raised in one of the elven alienages, and he was very mistrustful of humans, especially humans in authority. All he knew of the humans was what he had seen in the alienage. He was very wary of us. What Anaren needed was time. Time to get used to his new home. Time to emerge from his shell, so we could build a rapport. I gave him no such time. I was young and arrogant. He is a mage, I thought. He needs to grow up and act like one. I expected too much from him, too quickly. I gave no consideration to his origin or his feelings, and he retreated further from me. All I could think of was how stubborn he was, how he was throwing away all his talent and his potential, just to be difficult. Oh, age and wisdom have mellowed me. I was quite different back then, much more unforgiving. You cannot plant crops in the cold, wintry ground. You cannot teach a student who is closed off and unresponsive. Patience is what is needed, and I learned that too late to help him. Anaren ran away from the circle one night. 
I had berated him over some trivial, ridiculous matter that I no longer remember. I drove him away because of something utterly unimportant. He was a child, 14 at the time of his leaving. They had his phylactery, and they hunted him down. The phylactery is a vial of blood taken from a mage, but blood is connected to life, and your blood can be used to track you down. They called him Maleficar, a mage who practices forbidden magic, deserving of death. He was a child, misunderstood and lost. I begged the Templars to tell me if he suffered, if they gave him a quick death. I got no answers from them. I was his mentor and they wouldn't even tell me what became of him. I should have known better. I had the best mentors. They were kind, compassionate. Why didn't I learn from them? I failed in Aaron. All I had to do was listen to him. He would try to talk to me, and I would tell him to concentrate on his spells. He talked about the alienage sometimes, and the Dalish. He always talked about looking for the Dalish elves. The Templars are well-trained and thorough. That he still lives, it would be a vain hope. The apprentices that came after Aneren benefited greatly from the lessons I learned from him. In a sense, he was my teacher, and I his student. And there it is. My story, my one greatest regret. I got a moment, hey, sure. What about? All right. Aye, all right then. the accommodations are to your liking, Warden. Please let me know if anything is troubling you. This is a nice change from having to sleep in the woods, isn't it? Something I can help with? Denerim is Ferelden's most important city, yes? This is the seat of power, the jewel in the crown of the king. She is Ferelden's heart. Her walls are strong, but within them lies so much beauty. Just like the country and the people. Something I can help with? Yes? What's on your mind? Of course I do. I love stories far too much to keep them to myself. Everyone should be able to benefit from them, I think. Which one? It will come to you soon, I'm sure. You know, I could get to like this. The last time I came to Denerim, I stayed at an inn so filthy the bedbugs had fleas. What say you? By all means. You know, I could get to like this. What say you? Again? I'm game.
Ah, Warden. I trust you've made yourself comfortable. This is Elena. She's... I am Queen Enora's handmaiden. She sent me here to ask for your help. Or perhaps the young lady prefers to speak for herself. The Queen. She is in a difficult position. She loved her husband, no? And trusted her father to protect him. When he returns with no king and only dark rumors, what is she to think? She worries, no? But when she tries to speak with him, he does not answer. He tells her not to trouble herself. My queen suspects she cannot trust her father. And Logan, he is very subtle, no? But when and how, he is privy to all the secrets and not so subtle. So she goes to how? A visit from the queen to the new Isle of Denon is only a matter of courtesy. And she demands answers. Things no decent person would repeat. He calls her every sort of name, traitor being the kindest, and locks her in a guest room. King Kaelin was like a son to him, and Loghain left him to die. Does he love Anora more? Who can say? I think her life is in danger. I heard how say she would be a greater ally dead than alive, especially if her death could be blamed on Arl Eamon. We may have no choice but to trust Anora. The Queen is well loved. If Loghain succeeded in pinning her death on me, I'm not sure that's a risk we can afford to take. And who would tell them? Me? An elf escaped from Orle? What Ferrer the Noble would listen to my words? Rescue my queen, and I promise she will reveal all, and at the time when it will hurt Rogaine most. I have some uniforms. I'll how hire so many new girls every day. A few more will not cause much stir. I will show you to the servants' entrance. We must slip in and out with my queen before anyone is the wiser. I will go ahead to House Estate. Meet me there as soon as you can.
This is not as defensible as I would like, but it will do. Yes. I am hardly surprised. Very well. Speak, then. Then I suggest we move on. I am hardly surprised. Very well. As you wish. If one more servant asks if I would like a change of clothes, I will set the house on fire. I await your command. So, full of questions, are you? <laughs> if one more servant asks if I would like a change of clothes, I will set the house on fire. I await your command. We are hardly alone, so privacy is not an option. It is your question, however. Ask what you will. I haven't been here in a while. They've changed the dining room. What do you need? Ask away. Such as they are. About the Grey Wardens, anyhow. Fair enough. What do you need? I'm glad you decided to help. With an oar's knowledge, we have a far better chance against Logan. From Alina's story, he turned against her first. If he truly intends to sacrifice her, I think it will be strong motivation to break the parental bonds. In any event, I would far rather have the opportunity to ask such things of her than simply hear about her murder. If Honora speaks out against Loghain, hers would indeed be one of the most powerful voices of the Landsmeet. She and Kaelin were promised as children and practically raised together. She was a smart child, knew how to listen, and how to blink those big blue eyes and get anything she wanted. Her mother's looks, her father's brains, and the best tutoring Merrick's money could buy. It's a potent combination. As you like. My palace is your palace. I'm glad you decided to help. With Honora's knowledge, we have a far better chance against Logan. Excuse me, I have to dust the Isle's sitting room. The Chamberlain disapproves of us. If Lady Isolde hadn't brought me into this household from Redcliffe last year, I'd never have been given a place. I beg your pardon, sir, but I really can't be seen standing about. The housekeeper will have my head. Good day. Dinner's not ready yet, and don't ask. It'll be served when it's done, and that's that. Now, show out of my kitchen. Four cups of flour, three cups of 
maybe if I drop a couple of good plates, they won't make me dry them anymore. Is it true there's a prince among the Isle's visitors? None of them looked all that princely to me. Indeed. Yes. Turn your attention elsewhere. My business does not concern you. I doubt that. Hmm. Yes, you're right. This is very interesting. I'll take this note from you, and I'll confiscate this lyrium as evidence. You have done a great thing here, friend. Those rogue mages' days are numbered. The deep dark before dawn's first light seems eternal, but know that the sun always rises. They shall be named Maleficar, accursed ones. They shall find no rest in this world. Good to see you again. Leave me to my business. Dwarven crafts. Fine dwarven craft. Direct for more than you won't find better. Dwarven crafts. Fine dwarven crafts. Direct for more than Wonderful. Another one. I suppose you're here to ask for a donation, too. You're the youngest Kuzland, aren't you? Probably looking for coin or men to take your turn here back then. You're better off asking the Darkspawn. They hold West Hills now. Shouldn't you be dead, then? How quick did you cut, leash, and run at Ostagar? No matter. I've nothing left for you to take, Grey Warden. Not even my sons. You're wasting your time here. Gallagher Wolf. Arl of the West Hills. Or what's left of them. All of southern Ferelden covered by black clouds. The ground rotting beneath your feet. Plagues and darkspawn raids going on until even the crows get sick of the smell of carrion. What's a little trifle like that when compared to the important troubles here in Denerim? There's no point talking about it. Leave me. I've nothing for you anyway. Your lands are in the south. There's nothing Should more to you say. The blight yourself. to someone else. Hardly. You know very well I've been in Denerim these past two years. Rosalind's health requires us to be in town, you understand? <clears throat> yes, I had heard that. 
Aren't you Bryce and Eleanor Kuzlan's youngest? Make us breath, I thought... Well, it's good to see you're all right. Did you see Wolf's face when he arrived? I heard West Hills has fallen to Darkspawn. Your lands are in the south. Surely you've seen the blight yourself. Hardly. You know very well I've been in Denerim these past two years. Rosalind's health requires us to be in town, you understand? <clears throat> yes, I had heard that. Aren't you Bryce and Eleanor Kuzlan's youngest? Did Make you see breath, Wolf's thought... face when he arrived? Well, I heard West Hills. It's good to see you're all right. Darkspawn. Your lands are in the south. Surely you've seen the blight yourself. Hardly. What can I get you, stranger? There are soldiers throughout the valley now, and Tyr and Loghain arrested three bands. But I hear there's common folk rioting throughout the kingdom. No one will accept the Tyrn as the regent now. Can you imagine that? A month ago he was a hero, and now... I'm beginning to wonder if the rumors about him are true. Anything else you need? I don't know what to tell you. Nothing I can think of at the moment. <laughs> yes, I have. You'll have to excuse me. I'm in... You'll have to excuse me. I'm engaged at present. You'll have to excuse me. I'm engaged at present. I'm sorry. I'm busy at the moment. About a note. Maybe we have some things we can talk about. You are of great interest to me. That's a very direct question. On the whole, I don't like direct questions. For the sake of this discussion, let's say I am. Who do you blame for a death? The sword or the swordsman? Crows are swords, instruments used by someone else for their own reasons. So one of our swords is hired out. He and his employees will do their job or die trying, but the crows as a whole have no bias. Ferelden is a busy place. Blight, civil war, other mayhem. Lots of people not getting along. Sometimes they really don't get along. Maybe want to do something about it. The people that handle that sort of thing can get real busy. It takes time to do a good job pride in your work and all, but customers have expectations. Not many people to turn to if you're short-staffed in some lines of work. So, someone that's crossed our path and lived, well, 
Maybe they could help out. Make some coin. Everyone wins. I hand you a scroll. You read it, you learn about someone interesting. If you find out something happens to him, something unfortunate, then if we talk again, I give you money for letting me know. <laughs> I don't like the sound of this. You don't like what's on the scroll? Don't do anything. Maybe he has an accident and someone else tells me all about it. You can never be too careful. Can you blame someone for being circumspect? There you go. Makes for fine reading. If that's all, luck be to you. Shift's nearly over. Thank I'm trusting. I wonder that myself. His timing is unfortunate. South Reach is overrun. I have little time to devote to politics at present. Overrun? Has the blight truly spread so far? Most of my freeholders have fled to Redcliffe and Lodering. But I doubt they'll be safe there. Vicar's breath. Well and I had no idea. Wolf lost both his boys to Dark Spirit, trying to evacuate the West Hastings. Lady Androste, pray for us. I'm sorry. I'm busy at the moment. You'll have to excuse me. I'm engaged. Make us blessings upon you, Warden. Make us blessings upon you, Warden. Good job clearing those louts out. There's nothing more to say. Test us up.
Thanks for the help you've given. Unfortunately, I have more headaches to deal with. As there is but one world, one life, one day. And so here is the mighty Grey Warden at long last. The crows send their greetings once again. And where is Zevran? I don't see him with you. How very disappointing. Hmm. Then I shall need to seek him out once we are done. Here I am, Talisan. Tell me, were you sent, or did you volunteer for the job? Oh ho! And he makes an appearance. I volunteered, of course. When I heard that the great Zevran had gone rogue, I simply had to see it for myself. Is that so? Well, here I am, in the flesh. You can return with me, Zevran. I know why you did this, and I don't blame you. It's not too late. Come back, and we'll make up a story. Anyone can make a mistake. Oh? Does Zevra need to live? I suspect I will manage just fine, Talisan. I'm sorry, my old friend, but the answer is no. I'm not coming back. And you should have stayed in Antiva. Yes. Indeed. Watch out, Zevra. Watch out, Zevra. Talisan is dead, and I am free of the crows. They will assume that I am dead along with Talisan. So long as I do not make my presence known to them, they will not seek me out. I 
I do not know. It seems I have options now, whereas once I had none. I have enjoyed our company, but I am wondering if it is not time for me to leave. That would be the practical thing to do, no? There is a freedom awaiting me that I have never known. But I suppose the decision is yours. Will you let me go? Mm, all right. You make a convincing argument. You do seem to stumble onto treasure on a regular basis somehow. Let us return to the task at hand, then. There is still much to be done, yes? Welcome back. What can I get for you, honey? I think not. Hmm. Perhaps I could have a try at that.
All complete. I'm afraid not. Cannot. Another Grey Warden supporter. Not just a supporter, Payton. That's a Grey Warden. He's the one Arl Howe is looking for. Our trap landed a Warden? You've got one chance to surrender. The Arl has been very generous to his servants, especially those who get bloody jobs done. That our work is legal makes it ever so delicious. Enemies approaching! Welcome back. What can I get for you, honey? Come again.
You know, I could get to like this. The last time I came to Denerim, I stayed at an inn so filthy the bedbugs had fleas. Your wish? Whatever you'd like to ask. Yes, I suppose it is time. You have been a good friend to me, after all. There is no reason to be silent. There is a reason I accepted this mission in Ferelden, far away from home, and it had nothing to do with any thought that I might leave the crows. Meeting you, after all, was quite an accident. My last mission before this one did not end well. You must realize that until that day I was cocky and arrogant, I was the best crow in Antiva, I believed, and I bragged of my conquests often, both as an assassin and lover. <laughs> Indeed, I was often told I was insufferable, right before I ended up in bed with someone. Such is how it was. One of the crow masters grew tired of my boasting. My bid for an incredibly difficult mark was accepted, much to my surprise. A wealthy merchant with many guards and completely silent. Talison agreed to be part of my team, as well as an elven lass named Rina. She was a marvel, tough, smooth, wicked, eyes that gleamed like justice. Everything I thought I desired. Rina was special. I had closed off my heart, I thought. But she touched something within me. It frightened me. When Talison revealed to me that Rina had accepted a bribe from the merchant, told him of our plan, I readily agreed that she needed to pay the price and allowed Talison to kill her. Rina begged me not to. On her knees, with tears in her eyes, she told me that she loved me and had not betrayed us. I laughed in her face and said that even if it were true, I didn't care. Yes, it was. Talison cut her throat, and I watched her bleed as she stared up at me. I spat on her for betraying the crows. When Talison and I finally assassinated the merchant, we found the true source of his information. Rina had not betrayed us, after all. I wanted to tell the crows what we had done, our mistake. Talison convinced me not to. He said it would be a foolish waste. So we reported that Rina had died in the attempt. We needn't have bothered. The crows knew what we had done. The master who disliked me told me so to my face. He said the crows knew, and they didn't care. And one day, my turn would come. To rub it in my face, perhaps, that I was nothing, that she was nothing. You once asked why I wanted to leave the crows. In truth, what I wanted was to die. What better way than to throw myself at one of the fabled Grey Wardens? And then, this happened, and here I am. No. What I want is to begin again. Whatever it is I sought by leaving Antiva, I think I have found it. I owe you a great deal. Let us return to your mission, shall we? Suddenly I do not feel like standing about. You know, I could get to like this. Your wish? Whatever you'd like to ask. You know, I could... Your wish? Again? I'm game. Is it true there's a prince among the... Is it true there's a prince among the Isle's visitors? None of them look to... Yes. Indeed. Yes.
Fine dwarven craft. Some wreck from ours tomorrow. What do you suppose Eamon is playing at? They expect us to believe Anora unfit to rule, with her father to advise her. I wonder that myself. His timing is unfortunate. South Reach is overrun. I have little time to devote to politics at present. Overrun? Has the blight truly spread so far? Most of my freeholders have fled to Redcliffe and Lothering, but I doubt they'll be safe there for long. Take his breath. Ryland, I have no idea. Be careful how loud you speak. Wolf lost both his boys to Darkspear, trying to evacuate West Hills. Lady Androste, pray for us. A little bird told me one of Logan's friends had an accident. Terribly unfortunate. You might want to look in the chest behind me. There might be something of interest. Find everything you need. Deal? Oh, I don't know what you mean. But if anything interesting happens, feel free to come back and consider that chest yours. <laughs> 